What's up, Marlins? You guys made it. Week four, day four, final day of the week for your strength and conditioning. We're starting out with mobility series four and then activation with the mini band. You'll see those links on your PDF. After you complete those, you're going into your conditioning. Okay? The format for your conditioning today is going to be three minutes on, a minute and a half off for five intervals. Okay? So you can use an interval timer online or you can just set up your stopwatch on your phone um, and kind of pre-plan out when those work and rest intervals will happen. The four exercises in your conditioning today starts with 50 skips on a jump rope or uh, single unders. Okay, so you'll, you just need a jump rope, complete 50 reps, and then move on. If you don't have a jump rope, you can easily just complete 50 pogo hops, trying to jump somewhere between five to 10 inches off the ground. After you've completed that, you're going into 20 bent rows with your band, okay? So we're gonna stand on the band in our hinge stance, so our feet are gonna be underneath us a little bit. Push your hips back, and we have 20 band rows. Okay, making sure that as I row and stretch the band, my shoulder blades are going together and trying to touch each other. After we've completed the band row, we're then gonna go into fake throws. Okay, so we have a couple options with this. If you have a med ball, that would be the best option. If you don't, you can use your half gallon of milk um, or some, some light object, five pounds or less, okay? We're gonna get into an athletic stance, our feet about hip width apart, okay? Weight in the balls of your feet, knees, hips, and ankles are all bent. We're gonna hold the ball in front of us, okay? And from here, we're gonna bring the ball back and forth with some speed and some aggression for 20 reps. Left is one, right is two, going for 20. The ball should move back and forth very, very quickly. Our body is gonna to try to stay as still and as quiet as possible, okay? So this is what it'll look like. Okay, again, one, two, three, four, going to 20. As you go side to side, if I'm going to my left, my left hand is gonna drop under the ball. If I'm going to my right, my right hand is gonna drop under the ball, okay? And we're just switching from side to side. The final movement of your conditioning is single leg squats. You do these off of a bench of some sort or a chair. Okay, you just need to find a height where you can control the complete range of motion. So from here, you'll stand on one leg, Control your weight all the way down. And then you can either stand up on two feet if you don't feel like you have enough strength to stand up on one, or you can complete the rep by standing up on one foot. Okay? Seven reps on your right, seven reps on your left. You'll complete that again for the three minutes of work, followed by a 90 second break for five rounds through. Okay? After you complete the conditioning, you'll go into your cool down, which includes open book and lacrosse ball on your lats, your calves, and your T-spine. Once you've completed the cool down, you guys are done with your training for the week with your strength and conditioning. Great job.